Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how we can create bugs and how we can link it to the user story. So as you guys know that when we create bugs at that point of uh, the situation when we are testing any test case and something which supposed to work and something which supposed not to work if working and if not working accordingly. So at that point of time we create bug. Like for example, if we have your correct credentials and we are trying to log in it to the uh, login page and at that point of time if those credentials are not working which are correct so that is the bug at that point of time so we will create that bug and um, here in the user story while we are executing the test case and then uh, we are going to link it to the user story so for that we have created one user story and i'm just going to click on it when i click on it it will open a pop-up window and here we have created a test case. So as I told you that uh, when we create the test cases uh, in the user story, you need to activate to the Zypher skill. And then uh, already the test cases you are cre uh, creating here are by default linked to your user story. So I'm just going to execute this last one. So for that, you just click on the execute button. And when you do that, it will ask you some of the fields like assign to environment, test case version so provide the details accordingly and then start so when i start it it will take you uh, to an execution panel and as you know when we were going through the test execution video that uh, you just need to start this button to start the execution time so it will uh, give you the uh, details of executed by account and it is going to calculate your execution time, actual execution time. So here, my first step is when I'm going to execute the test cases, opening the portal. So if I'm doing the same thing while executing, opening the portal with this URL and I expect a result that portal should display it and I get the same actual result. So I'll write it here that portal displayed. And when I do that, I need to select because my expected and actual result are equal. So I need to pass this test step, which I've already told you while we were doing the execution video. Then if I go to the next step that click on the login button with, uh, and with that, I expect a result that login popper window is displayed. So I'll write the same result here, login window displayed. And again, I'm going to pass this one. For example, right now, it's just to assume and to create the bug. If uh, my these credentials, which is one is correct, which my username is correct and the password is wrong one. But with this, I expect the result that user should not able to log in and gets an error message. But by default, at that point of time, when you are executing it and this particular credential worked at that point of time, that means as a user, I'm able to log in and I don't get an error message. So I'll write here the actual result. User is able to log in. And in this case, my expected and actual result are not equal. So what I'll do is I'll fail this test case by this icon. And when I do that, automatically my whole test case got failed, if you can see here. So I have to create a bug at this situation. So what I have to do is I'll just go to this last icon, choose the create issue option. After doing that, it will open a pop-up window and the project is already selected. In the issue type, you need to select bug. And here you can write down the description that uh, these uh, incorrect login credentials credentials are working on the login page and there are other other details like descriptions you can give to which particular um, user you are reporting it to its priority you can give because it is a login uh, bug at the point of login time we get this bug so i am giving it as high 
then other details you can fill up here like attachment and other thing and then you can click on create and as you do that you will see one login id is created here by trp8 and that bug which we have created is now linked to this test case but it is not linked to your story so what you need to do is for linking to it uh, to the story is i will go back or i'll just come to the backlog In the backlog section, you will see that a uh, particular bug which we have created is in the backlog section, not in the sprint which we are executing right now. So what I have to do is, firstly, I need to take that bug to the sprint first and confirm this message. It's just showing that we are um, putting our issue into the sprint. Now I need to link this uh, bug to the story. So for that, I need to click on the story. And when I do that, here at the right side, a panel is going to open. Here you get this option of link issues. Just click on this link issue. Choose the first option, link issue. And here you will see this section will appear. Here you need to search for the issue. And how you are going to search it? Here the key is given, which is TRP8. You need to write down that your TRP. And you will see. The issue appeared here, just select it and click on the link button. And as you do that, you your this particular issue, this particular bug issue is linked to this story. You can even cross check it, just uh, open it, just click on the key, open it in a new tab. And when you do that, it will open a separate section of user story. Here you can see linked issue and your bug is linked here. So in this way, you can create the bugs while you are executing the test case and how you, and in this way, you can link it to the user story as well.